You ready for this, Sorengale? Rhiannon moves forward. The black-haired rider snaps his gaze to mine, turning fully toward me, and my heart thunders for all the wrong reasons. A rebellion relic, curving in dips and swirls, starts at his bare left wrist, then disappears under his black uniform to appear again at his collar, where it stretches and swirls up his neck, stopping at his jawline. Oh, shit. His eyes narrow, as if he can hear me over the howl of wind that rips at my secured braid. Sorengale. He steps toward me, and I look up. And up. Good gods. I don't even reach his collarbone. He's massive. He has to be more than four inches over six feet tall. I feel exactly what Mira called me. Fragile. But I nod once, and the shining onyx of his eyes transforms to cold, unadulterated hate. I can almost taste the loathing wafting off him like a bitter cologne. Violet? Rhiannon moves forward. You're General Soringale's youngest. You're Fen Ryerson's son. I lift my chin and do my best to lock every muscle in my body so I don't start trembling. He will kill you the second he finds out who you are. Mira's words bounce around my skull, and fear knots in my throat. He's going to throw me over the edge. He's going to pick me up and drop me right off this turret. I'm never going to get the chance to even walk the parapet. I'll die being exactly what my mother's always danced around calling me. Weak. Zayden sucks in a deep breath, and the muscle in his jaw flexes once, twice. Your mother captured my father and oversaw his execution. Wait, like he has the only right to hatred here? Rage races through my veins. Your father killed my older brother. Seems like we're even. (laughs) Hardly. His glaring gaze strokes over me like he's memorizing every detail or looking for any weakness. Your sister is a writer. Guess that explains the leathers. Guess so. I hold his glare, as if winning this staring competition will gain me entrance to the quadrant instead of crossing the parapet behind him. Either way, I'm getting across. Mira isn't going to lose both her siblings. 